So we're in the cooler today here at Bissell Maple Farm. Um, pretty one of our favorite days. Uh, a few times a year, uh, we bottle a batch of uh, maple syrup for the uh, uh, Van Winkle family. So we are bottling batch number 16 today. So um, the demand for the uh, the Van Winkle, uh, the, the Pappy, uh, Pappy and Company maple syrup has gone up. So um, I'll take you on a little tour today. It's kind of interesting with everything we got going on. So it goes from the bourbon barrels. And then uh, the team dumps the bourbon barrels here in the bourbon barrel dump station. Uh, they figured out a way to use an old sap tank to catch the charcoal in the screen. They use a little crane to lift the barrels off the barrel racks that you saw there in the cooler. And uh, they dump uh, about 900 to 1,000 gallons at a time. So got a nice little crew here. Every bottle is hand signed. So the ladies are signing. What batch are we doing today? 16. Batch 16 is up there on the, uh, the board. Yep. They, uh, they do a case at a time and scratch off the numbers. What number are you up to, lady? 687. 687. So we actually, when we dump the bourbon barrels, we put them here in our bulk tank. It tells us how many pounds. So we got the uh, uh, the Pappy batch. We started with 11,000 pounds this morning. Uh, this old milk tank here has uh, got a, a glycol jacket in it. So it keeps making syrup uh, 50 degrees. This is our uh, temperature, keep it cool. But uh, what she does is she bumps it over. How's it going, Di? Good. You're moving some juice today. Yes. So Diana's pumping the syrup from the bulk tank. They dumped those barrels uh, about a week ago. And she gets it up to temperature, these two kettles, and uh, pumps it over with the filter press, so she'll pump it up and over, there it is, up and over, down to the canner, so Sam the man, Sam Sam the bottle man, Sam Sam the bottle man's putting bottles on the line, you want that conveyor running a little faster, you can run the conveyor a little faster if you want, you don't have to manually put it over there, so... This actually is an air rinser. This uh, blows out any potential glass in the bottle uh, and vacuums them out. And then it goes to the filler here where the magic happens. So we're filling some bottles. Not pushing it super hard today because we've got to hand sign the bottles. There's nothing better than bottling syrup and listening to ACDC. So over here we're capping. How's the, how's the capping going, Michelle? Beautifully. So we got the capper here. So what happens is the caps go in the bowl and it vibrates the cap down. And it's pretty slick, actually. This is our spacer so we don't overwhelm our capper, but we could probably speed that up just a little bit. What happens is, is it picks the cap off, kind of gets you a better shot. So it picks that cap off, Oop. flips right under that stabilizer, and then this runs right down and gets torqued down on the last spindle there. It's pretty slick. I mean, we used to hand cap thousands and thousands of bottles on probably... Now, we used to get a lot of blisters, and then when the blisters were gone, you'd, uh, you'd have calluses, but we, we've gotten soft here at Bissell Maple Farm. <laughs> Not really. So what this thing here does is, we uh, saves our wrists, we don't have to pick the bottle up and tip it over. This actually is it's called a, uh, our, our, uh, what are these things called? Sanitizer. So this is our sanitizer inverter. It flips the bottles over inside there. The 
see them tip, flips them over and they come out the other side. Um, runs right down this wash conveyor. Nobody wants syrup on their bottle. Then we've got these air knives that take the, uh, the droplets off. So by the time it gets down to the end, So we don't use the neck bander. This puts a uh, what I call a shrink band or a uh, anti, you know a tamper evident ring on it. We don't need it for this this customer. We put a uh, for Pappy and Company. We put a little um, uh, tamper evident. So this is not being used. It's just actually acting as a conveyor. Uh, inkjet. These guys will actually print print on the bottle if I do it slowly. You can see it's putting a time stamp on there. So three years on this product. And then uh, this sucker here is, saves hand labeling. We used to hand label everything. Nicole, I love that shirt. We did a hand sanitizer project earlier in the year and just to celebrate all the work we did, we got our own Breaking Germs shirts. So we'll... Jess, what do you call this thing you're putting on the top? Uh, the tamper resistant tape, I guess. Yeah, what's it say on that? It says, uh, Happy and Company. Happy Company. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So every bottle, you have to put those on by hand, huh? I noticed that you put them across front to back. Yep. You do that on purpose, don't you? Make it look better. Yeah, we talked to the team at Happy and they determined that that was the way they wanted it. And I agree, it looks nice that way. It does. This looks yeah. really good today. We're uh, getting low on our labels. It's Keeping an nice. eye on those. Yeah, it's going smooth though. It is. We're back to the uh, back to the end. It's kind of you got to hustle down here, huh, Dean? It's no joke. So this has uh, Tina's. Tina approved this bottle seven thirty five. 738. I'm sure they like it when I, I start saying numbers down here while they're trying to put numbers on the bottle, Dean. So here we go down to the end. We like the made in the USA there. This is uh, America. So we uh, get our glass from America, our syrup from America, and obviously uh, the bottles from uh Happy Van Winkles from America. This is American product. You can't get this anywhere else in the world except through our customers and friends at Happy Company. 